As you all know, Business Athlete Nation, George Jansen, our resident house nutritionist, food expert. She's She hangs out with us here Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays on the protein break. Uh, a little play on the terms of coffee and break. And today we want to talk about micronutrients. I know we put it on the table a couple weeks back before George joined the show with Johnny and myself. I know John's a big fan of micronutrients. But before we go there, I want to just do a little rewind. A couple of days ago, we were talking carbohydrates. And I think we might have misspoke. We collectively might, might have misspoke about categorizing carbohydrates. Complex carbs and simple carbs and what we might want to be fueling ourselves with post-workouts and so forth. Jory and I were just kind of shooting the shit over the last couple of days. I was doing some post-production and I'm like, hmm, I think we might have misspoke a little bit about classifying carbohydrates. So let's just re rewind here. Jory, simple carbohydrate versus complex carbohydrates. Jory Jansen, complex carbs. All right. So simple carbs are everyone has that friend who you love. You need them in your life. But they're not the sharpest tool in the shed, but they add lots to your world. And then you have those people in your life that just are deep. And you've got a lot happening, a lot of richness. They add to your world and, and really cause you to grow. That's the difference between a simple carbohydrate and a complex carb. So complex carbohydrates are going to have high fiber, high nutrients. You don't want them right in exercise. They take longer to break down. So like your whole grains, for example, complex carbohydrate. Something that in exercise, or if you have an hour or less before you go exercise, a simple carb. So that could be a sport drink, for example. So there is a difference between the two. And outside of close to or inside exercise performance, you want to go complex. Awesome. Thank you, Jory, for that clarification. As I said, we were just going through some of the content here. I was like, hmm, I think we might have just misrepresented how it was. So I wanted to put that on the table to uh, go back and re-speak on that. So and that was a great analogy. That was really that for anybody that listened to that doesn't understand, you got to listen again because you weren't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, let's pivot to micronutrients. The world's always talking about macronutrients, fats, carbs, protein, but yet more and more we're talking about magnesium, zincs, and vitamin Ds and so forth. But let's help business athlete nation, Jory, John, Marty, let's help nation move into the weekend and get them thinking a little more about micronutrients and how essential they are for my, for muscle function, immunity, and even mental health. In, in, in Morning Loop Reloaded, we're going to talk about some life hacks for, for mental health. So let's talk more about micronutrients and what we want to know uh, that are often overlooked. Jory, let's start with you before we go over to you, Johnny. Let's talk about micronutrients from your perspective, Jory Jansen. So first of all, just a big difference, the macronutrients and micro. So macro are those big macro, right? So the macros are your carbs, protein, fat, Fantastic. Everyone wants to know those. Give me my macro profile. Great. Micronutrients found in the macronutrients are the little things that add up for big results, right? If yes. you're thinking carbohydrate sources, so let's say whole grains, the micronutrients there could be, you have the CD breads and vitamin E would be there, your B vitamins, for example, which help with energy production. You need those micronutrients, the little things in the macro things. Awesome. Johnny. Yeah. And I just, I always love to break things down real simple for our listeners. What she said is totally correct, but to break that into a really simplistic perspective to understand that is the micro is really what's important to the body because you can have a macro that doesn't really represent mm -hmm. many micros and the micros is the currency the micros what's important mm -hmm. so you got to keep that in mind if you're just constantly counting the numbers of the macro you could be missing the micros that the body needs to get what you want so think the micro that's the body's currency I, I want to come back to that in a second because that's that's an important point that many don't talk about because, and I'm going to hold this up as our prop and I'm going to get here in a second, but before Not I Not many that, micros in that, brother. Exactly. But I want to get to that, <laughs> no, because that's exactly what I want to get to in a second here. But before we do that, I got a great comment coming up here. We have uh, in the horizontal stream, and Nation, I'm sorry that I'm uh, crappy on the horizontal comments here. Uh, we've got Kiki Mentor, Kike Mentor, Kiki, whatever. Good morning, guys. I'm new to the show. It's pretty energetic. Yes, mornings in live with Keith and friends, 8 o'clock Eastern time. I invite you to subscribe to the channel. Hit the old mornings in the lab you're going to get us on the vertical channel here it's the only mobile morning show we broadcast two streams we have a vertical stream and a horizontal stream a lean back and watch it on tv experience and a mobile get up and have it on your phone experience so kiki i am i'm happy to have you here as well and else we got here we got uh, we got a bunch of other people here in the comments i enjoy having you guys here as well thank you so much all right micronutrients and macronutrients so many can say that, okay i'm just going to get my macros in and i can achieve my goals 
So there is some truth to that. But the lack of truth is what John just said, because, and I'm going to do, so I'm going to purposely explain this and not have the nutritionist do it and not have John Anderson do it because I'm just like the regular dude who's listening right now. So yes, you can hit your macros with this. You can get your protein, carbs, and fats. However, you're not getting any vitamin D. You're not getting any magnesium. You're not getting any zinc. You're not getting any nutrients to help your body function. So if you're all about the macros in your life, great, good for you. But if you're not getting the micros, you're failing. John, Jory? It's the same as calories, right? I mean, yes. that's my target. It's the same thing. And what you want to look at is the more variety that you allow into, you can call it a diet if you want. I usually call them in the nutrition plan that you've set up. Yes. It, the more variety you allow, the more flexibility you allow in your nutrition guide, then the more likely you're going to hit those targets. And there are going to be times when not. And so that's where supplementation may come in and be beneficial. But overall, if you have a hearty appetite, you eat a variety of foods, you can generally hit most micronutrients. Everyone is a little bit different and some supplementation may be helpful, but overall. there There's like levels of understanding to this. So the guy that doesn't understand shit, he talks calories. And then the guy that learns a little more, oh, he goes, oh I, I need to learn. I need to hit my macros. Oh, wow. Then the guy that goes all the way, he understands the micros in the macros is what matters. So it's just, it's almost like a level of education. And the synergies between them, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And I, I wanted to add too. Yeah. The, the calories in, the calories out thing. Yes, it, it, it is true. You, you need to be in a deficit, but that deficit, what good is the deficit if you're not getting in the, the macros and the micros, right? What kind of quality of food, of food are you getting in the deficit? So you're not eating fruits, you're not eating vegetables, but you're in a deficit because you ate the low calorie cupcake. That's not necessarily what our bodies need. So I just wanted to add that in too. Yeah. Well, I just got to jump on the deficit thing. Everybody thinks, oh my God. <clears throat> now keep in mind, if you want to lose weight, you want your body to lose muscle and fat, deficit's a perfect plan for you. But guess what? That's a miserable way to do it. Your brain's going to be releasing stress hormones because your body's chewing through its own tissue, the functional tissue, the muscle, which it wants to keep. So then there's a the flip side of the equation. Now, Granted, this is more for a person who wants to recomp. He wants to build muscle and reduce body fat at the same time. The deficit is a, is a question mark there because I can't tell you how many people that I have worked with that were like, holy shit, if I eat all this, I'm going to get fat. And I said, look, you just give me five days. And as soon as that energy starts cracking, it's a symbol of their metabolism speeding up. Next thing, the scale's not moving, but they're having to cut new holes in their belts. Yep. Because yes. they're building muscle and they're dropping body fat at the same time, which does not happen in a calorie deficit. Yeah, yeah. The, the, here's the thing, Nation. The reality is you got to eat single ingredient good food. And I know it's boring. I know you don't want to. I know you want the five guys and the Reese's peanut butter cup. It's only boring if you allow it to be boring. I know, but Johnny, they want all the fucking crazy shitty food. So that's why I'm whispering. But listen, the reality is, the reality is there's no hacks, right? Because one of the questions I would say is that, hey, what supplements should Jory and John and Marty recommend that you guys eat? And we can go, okay, go to the supplement store and buy all the vitamins and pills. Or we can simplify it, as Johnny would say, and I know it's hard, eat good, whole, nutrient-dense foods. You know what, guys? We clearly have great in-depth conversations with Jory Wiesens on the show because she's dropping nuggets. Yep. Johnny's dropping nuggets. Absolutely. I I love this segment, and so does the goat. We're gonna the keep goat. Doing, we're gonna keep doing these things, and I'll tell you, Jory, the feedback from the comments and from folks that do this that we when the segment's done, positive. So I appreciate you, Jory. Last bit, last word to you before we bring Christina Flynn on stage okay. around micronutrients, Jory Jansen. Give Nation, give Business Athlete Nation something to think about before we say goodbye today. Sure. So just some key tip micronutrients that you might want to consider in the food sources for men out there. If you're looking at testosterone levels, for example, long term, zinc, big deal. So you, you think of things like your meat, your shellfish, legumes, if you're plant based, there's that that's something you want to get in. And those are foods, something like muscle contraction and relaxation, magnesium. Again, you can get that through 
dairy products, legumes, there's your, a lot of sources in the, your dark green. So get your dark greens in, throw it in a smoothie and you won't taste it. You're fine. Um, <laughs> so, so, and then vitamin D mood, it's a hormone, right? So yes. it really has an impact on our mental health and well-being, as well as being that synergistic friend to help the calcium get into the bones to keep that bone density there. So a variety of whole foods is key. And just remember that when you do that more often, then the outcome is going to be that investment and you're going to be a great, well, everyone's a little bit different, but you'll be grateful that you attempted to create the food source first. Awesome. awesome. Jira, I just got to jump in real quick and say, I'd see you bring so many great perspectives to the show for our listeners. I just want to say, I appreciate you. Right back at all of yeah, you. They, Thank they, you. Get, they get tired of me and Johnny just yelling at him all the time. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Jory Jansen. You go get some rest today. You're up late hanging out with the family, being a mom. Good job with that. And we look forward to having you on Monday and I'll see you in the text messages. Thank you, Jory. Thank you.